Good afternoon, Dan. Daniel here from Pacific Toyota. Thank you so much for your time on the phone this afternoon and your interest in one of our um, Toyota Corolla Ascent Sport um, sedan hybrids. This is the 2021 model done around 52,000 Ks for 27,990 drive away. This is one of, this is the other one that's done 57,000 kilometers, same year, same age and everything like that, same price. I believe yep for 27,990 that one's done 57 so then 57 done 52 but i'll do the video on this one for you so what i'll be doing today it's going through the paint and panel going through the engine bay going through the chat of the tires then we hop inside start the car up and go through its service history as well before i get into this hasty virtual tour i just want to tell you a little bit about our dealership up here in Cairns. So we are Pacific Toyota of Cairns. We are the biggest Toyota and Lexus dealership in all of Queensland. And we're number two, number three in all of Australia. So we do have two yards up here in Cairns at 77 Mole Grave Road. And we do have another yard down this main strip up here in Cairns at 235 Mole Grave Road, next to our new car showroom. As you can see, between the two yards, we are um, full. The chock is full. Um, as you can see, cars all the way up to the, the back wall there, all the way around the front, with a couple cars at the front, fully packed out front as well. So it's very hard for people to get in and out sometimes or have a look um, because all our parking spots are taken because of all our sold cars. We're a high volume dealership. That's what we're known for. Um, if we're not the best price or the best value in all of Queensland, we could be the cheapest or best value in all of Australia as well. So that's probably what, that's why you inquired on our Corolla sedan. That's why we had a chat over the phone it is very very well priced that's just what we're known for um that's how we get that title being the biggest turn lexus dealership through these hd virtual tours that's how we sell a lot of cars outside of cans because we're out very up front and show you um, the car in great detail so i'll start on the front bonnet first so you can see the beautiful condition that it's in as you can see you can see the beautiful reflection of the paint which is awesome to see. Obviously a little bit of water droplets and stuff like that because it has been raining today, as you can see, with all the water around and stuff like that. As you can see, was is a little bit sunny, but also you have all those darker clouds around, which, um, yeah, it will start raining later on. That's just what Cairns is, um, especially through the wet season and stuff like that. So the front bonnet looks very, very tidy. Obviously just a bit of dust from sitting over the weekend, the long weekend. Front right guard has, you can see here, very, very clean. Obviously being the hybrid model, which is awesome. Tread on the tires, awesome to see. No gutter rash or anything. Oh, slight gutter rash on that one. Sorry, I didn't see that before. Slight gutter rash there on the front um, right. Go around the front. These cars are awesome because they're the sedan model, get a lot of space as well in the rear boot. Uh, with these cars being a 2021 model, you do have your standard five years manufacturer's warranty. Out to 2026, you can get the option of a genuine warranty through Pacific Toyota as well, which um, adds another three years. So effectively, you can have warranty on this car out to 2029 if you want it as well. So more than happy to run you through those options uh, once you've decided on the car. Front left guard, as you can see there, awesome. The tread in the tires, awesome. That's heaps of tread wrapped in your Bridgestone. I forgot to tell you the size of them, 205, 55, 16 inch rims. Um, this one's got minor gutter rash here as well. Just trying to be up front with you, that's all. On the windscreen, looks pretty good on the windscreen. You do have the um, safety cameras up there, which I'll explain all those um, features with you once we hop into the car. On the roof and stuff like that, nice and tidy. Beautiful, so the key's in my pocket here. Obviously it's unlocked at the moment, as you can see. You can hover your hand over these two lines here on the door and the car locks. Obviously, I don't, uh, if I pull in that handle, it will unlock. So it's unlock, uh, locked, as you can see. Obviously, then you walk up to the car, it will unlock for you as well. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Keyless entry and exit. All nice and tidy on the paint and the side skirts here, as you can see. Just unlocking the car, as you can see. Have a look at the rear seats and stuff like that. Nice and tidy. Seats still look plump. Nice and clean, no rips, tears or stains. Even on the back of the seats, you know, you know, kids or passengers, you have them in the back of the seats, they have luggage, bags and stuff like that, toys. You do see rips and tears, but as you can see, this car has been kept in very good condition inside and out. It is a drive away price as well. So we include all your on-road costs, your PPSR reports and stuff like that. We also give you what's called, um, the PPSR report, sorry, which will show you the car's never been written off, stolen, no hail damage, flood damage or anything like that as well. Right, on the rear here, you do have the rear reversing camera. You do have a little button up here that you can open up the boot. As you can see, huge boot. You can probably fit about four of me in there. 
um, if you ever needed to. <laughs> um, you got all your tools, your jacks nicely tucked away, and you do have the nicely um, space saver spare that these come with nowadays. As you can see, all nicely tucked away. Huge space, huge, um, yeah, a lot of space. Goes out wide, goes all the way up to the seats there as well. Okay, on the back here, this is where you'll see the most damage in the car. Uh, but as you can see, no paint missing, anything like that. Previous owner has looked after the car. Um, no major imperfections, even on the plastic here. You know, when people are lifting things out of the car, instead of lifting, they pull it out. And that's where you see chunks of paint missing and stuff like that. But presents well, which is awesome to see. Okay, on the back here, it looks pretty good. Rear right here. Is that a little scratch? Oh, oh it's rubbing off. I think it's a little scratch as you can see a little bit rubbing off i can see what a little buff and polish can do um, but that's me just trying to be very very picky you can see some of that is rubbing off that will rub off as well with a good clean but just a little scratch there um it's minor i'll see what a buff and polish can do but just trying to be up front with you tread on the rear right good tread all the way around as you know as you can see no gutter rash on this one Right, open up the door again, show the inside, the back here. As I was saying, seat are very, very plump still. Got all those points on the bottom there as well if you need it. Okay, up into the car. Door cards present well, open up the boot, fuel cap and stuff like that. Nice pattern on the seats, very, very plump inside and out. The seats, um, push button start. So, because this was an ex-fleet vehicle, at the moment it only comes with one key. Obviously, you can hold that button to open up the boot as well. I will follow up with the fleet company to see if there was is a second uh, second key. Eight times out of ten, it should come with a second key, but just got to be upfront with you. Can't always sec uh, guarantee a second key. Um, but yeah, we will let you know if it does come through with a second key um, soon. As you can see there, car's done 53,002 kilometers. Nice dash there. Got all your voice recognition, your Bluetooth controls. Your volume stuff like that i'll change it to a good radio station so we can listen to uh, 103.5 is a good one nice and crisp sound as you can hear awesome to see here and here um, volume control your uh, voice recognition here bluetooth controls there so this is your safety feature here radar cruise control you can adjust the um what's called the distances once you've set it up with the cruise control as you can see in the top there you also have your um steering assist active there which is your lane departure so that's the point of those cameras got all those safety features you also have this little um what's it called um odometer thing so if you go past a 50 60 sign 100 sign 80 sign it will pop up up there as well only if the car record the cameras recognize it which is awesome to see um just all the little safety features that's added bonus for you there as well as you can see you can see the map of how the um the hybrid systems work and how it's running and stuff like that we'll go to setup and we'll go to projection settings shows you that there's apple carplay and on android auto just got to turn them on or off for you as well um, but we'll go to audio um, go to source as you can see am fm usb bluetooth and mirror cast as well but yeah pretty simple to use multimeter screen nice and crisp sound has and lights there air con control very simple to use obviously up in can so i like to keep the temperature as low as possible dean uh, pump it in the air con as well very very nice cold and powerful as well so we'll turn that down just for the sake of this video you have your ev mode there you have your traction control button there you have different drive modes as you can see power you got your eco and normal put the car into drive automatically disengage your handbrake put it back into park it'll automatically engage use your parking brake obviously you can push it down to disengage and pull it back up to engage as well um but yeah different drive modes very simple reverse reverse camera there for you as well okay two cup holders there deep center console with a 12 volt down there as well you do have a little usb port there as well okay got your navigation multimeter owner's manual you got the warranty and service book here and your regular owner's manual I'll go through the warranty and service book. First service done there, as you can see. Second service there. And then it's last service done on the first month of this year. With these cars, you get serviced every 12 months or 15,000 Ks. So last service done at the 9th of the first 24, 48,000 Ks, 47, uh, 48 and 78, 48,078. 
kilometers, car sitting at 53,000 kilometers. Next service isn't due until 63,000 kilometers or the ninth month of, um, of the first month next year, as you can see. Awesome service history, as you can see. We'll put those books away just in case, um, you know, we lose them. But as you can see, neat and tidy all the way around, inside and out. All right. Appreciate that center lock in there. Um, adjust your mirrors electronically, auto lights, get the wipers there as well. What more can I say? Very good condition inside and out. It's been well looked after, which is what you expect in a, a new, newish car. But there you are, Dean. Appreciate that. That's your 21 plate um, Corolla Ascent Sport Hybrid. Done around 53,000, just over 53,000 kilometers for 27,990 drive away. Appreciate that. Can't wait to send this down to um, Brisbane for you. We also do send you another video like this before it leaves on the truck as well. So you know the condition that it's in. Appreciate that. Talk to you soon. Can't wait to send this down to Brizzy. Take care. See you later.